Support for Southwest Stages provided by the Thirsty Ear American Icon Series, dedicated to bringing the greatest blues, folk, Cajun, Zydeco, and roots rock artists to New Mexico. A schedule of events is on the web at thirstyearfestival.com. And by MIGS Pro Systems, New Mexico's professional sound reinforcement and backline specialist for live concerts, corporate events, fairs, and raves. Booking information available at 505-984-8606. From the heart of the Southwest in Albuquerque, New Mexico, this is Southwest Stages. I'm your host, John Strader. On this edition of Southwest Stages, we'll travel to the J.W. Eves Movie Ranch in Santa Fe, New Mexico to the 2003 Thirsty Ear Music Festival. Set against the backdrop of the Old West in the 1800s, the Thirsty Ear Festival is an annual event that pits the blues and Americana camps against each other in a Wild West shootout. Although no blood is spilled, the music unites the two parties and shows they have common threads. For years, this roots-based festival brought in blues and folk artists from the Bayou country, but it had never featured a Cajun band in its lineup. That all changed in 2003 when Thirsty Ear brought out a real Cajun treat for its audience. Our guests on this edition of Southwest Stages come from Baton Rouge, Louisiana in the heart of Cajun country. They embrace a mix of Cajun fiddle tunes, western swing, and traditional jazz of the 1920s and 30s. So here they are, the Red Stick Ramblers. And that I can't do good Bring it on down to my house, honey There ain't nobody home with me Thank y'all so much. Can I get a little more to center vocal in the monitors right here, please? How y'all doing out there on this beautiful day? We're glad to be here to play some music for you. That's plenty. Thank you. Uh, here's one called Tigalo Por Mamu, a song by the Balfa Brothers from Mamu, Louisiana. J'ai acheté du candy rouge pour les petits et du sucre du café pour les vieux.
y'all kick up some dust down there. Tigano, Tigano, pour un mot. J'ai vendu mon petit wagon pour 15 sous. J'ai acheté du candy rouge pour les petits. Et y'a du bon pour la vieille. Can I have a little bit more of this fiddle in the monitor? How many of y'all familiar with Cajun music? Are we singing in French like the whole time? Came all the way from uh, France down into uh, Acadia up there in Canada and all the way down to Louisiana. So we're going to sing another Cajun song for you now. Also by the Balfa brothers called La Valse de Balfa. The drummer would also like to have some bass in his monitor, please. A story about a man who says he's going to leave to find his woman or die at the end of his blood. Thank y'all. How about those waltzes up in the front? Give them a big hand. All right. Thank y'all so much. Boy, it's a nice day. I'm going to qualify this interview by saying, before today, I had only heard one of your songs that Mike Coster put on a CD for me. But I'll tell you what, I already knew before the festival started that you guys were going to be the sleeper favorite of the whole thing and that I was going to be really pumped up. And when you guys got up there and threw down, 
that was just that was amazing and i just want to thank y'all for that thank, thank you for listening it was thank a lot you, of fun man. thank you how'd you feel you were feeling the love out there i mean you're a long way from the swamp land I yeah mean, man come it's on. great everybody was clapping and i saw a couple people doing a nice cajun waltz out there you know what's it like coming from uh the swamps of louisiana with the music down there it's so diverse and you come to a funky little old western town here in in you know new mexico i mean what is this festival like compared to your usual gigs you're up to well, John, it's pretty expensive to come up here. <laughs> oh, yeah? It's pretty expensive in Santa Fe? Yeah. Oh, just to travel in general. Oh, we're having you a good time. You guys have a Learjet know? or something? You're not uh, just like hobnobbing, no, well, bopping? No, one from... of the engines is broken right now, you know? Jet fuel is going through the roof, man. I put man. some duct tape on the bag. <laughs> You put some duct tape on what? We ran out of duct tape, actually. You put some so. duct tape on the wing, but it's still not holding very good. Now, I mean, do you guys get out uh, out of the south much and get into the southwest? I mean, tell me about your travels. What do you the guys do? The southwest, we were actually out here in June. Uh, we did uh, some stuff in um, Tucson. Tucson and um, where else were we? We did a house we? concert in Albuquerque, and we played really? a bar in Tucson. And we did some festivals in Long Beach. Yeah. It was a lot hotter in June than it is now. It's really nice out here right now. So tell me about your influences down there. I mean, obviously, you know, it's Cajun, but you guys are, uh, have a lot of swing influences, too. And, 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 you know, just tell me about your evolution of this band and, and what you guys are up to. And just, you know, fill us in where people can find you. If you have websites, uh, you know, how to find your CDs. Just, you know, people out there that just heard this set that said, oh, my God, how do I reach these people? Give us some info on that. Well, uh, with the exception of our, our new bass player, Eric Fry from Birmingham, the rest of us all met all right. in uh, Baton Rouge, and uh, we just kind of started getting together, playing music just for the hell of it, you know, cooking sauce and hanging out at somebody's house. Three of us lived, like, on the same block, you know. So uh, so it's easy to get together for the jam. Yeah, we were just hanging around, you know, playing, and, and just kind of started right. playing local venues. Yeah, we were already jamming for the hell of it, so yeah. we started playing local venues around Baton Rouge, and... Uh, you know, it just kind of went from there. As for the, the diversity of the styles of music that we play, we just kind of play whatever the hell we like, you know. So yeah. people ask why why all the different styles, and we just, I don't know, we don't want to leave anything out, you know. Yeah. Anyone uh, have any? All right, this is Joel speaking. Lindsay and a little closer I grew there, up Joe. playing a Cajun fiddle in Eunice, Louisiana. And uh, whenever we moved to Baton Rouge to go to school, we met other people like Chaz, who played all kind of blues and different kinds of music and he brought it so we brought in some Cajun music and we got together with Chaz and Chaz started playing different kinds of jazz and blues and things and Glenn was into rhythm and blues. <laughs> what were you into, Glenn? Trying to keep him close to the mic. Close and, to the uh, mic. And Josh Caffey was was doing stuff. He was playing bluegrass and other guitar styles of music and uh, he was playing the mandolin and we just all the different styles that we were all into at the time just kind of melded together. And yeah, I mean, that's just kind of what we do today. Still, everybody listens to different things, so we all bring that into. Uh, yeah, you all you all seem seem very different, so that's that's really cool, you know. And it, but I mean, how long we has this band been together? I mean, because there was that whole late '90s swing revival, and did that have any part of that it? Had I mean, nothing you mean to do like with it. Nothing to do with it. Nothing kind of thing, or whatever. Yeah, no, you, you know, know, actually, I, I, nothing at all. We we've been compared to them on a few occasions, and and we can't really. I don't know. I can't really say that that had anything to do with it. I, I, I never really dug the squirrel nut zippers that much. Yeah. Uh, we were just, you know, How can we you were modeling. Even say squirrel nut nip, nipper. See, I can't even say it. <laughs> we actually kind of model. We actually named after a band, s sort of, uh, called the Hackberry Ramblers, who did Cajun swing way back when, when the squirrel nut zippers were yeah. not even twinkles in anybody's eye. Yeah. And uh, yeah, way back in the 30s, and these guys are like 80 years old and they're still playing today. But they they took. Uh, kind of the, the East Texas uh, style of swing fiddling and mixed it with the Cajun music and you know that hybrid came from there and what we were doing was just kind of I don't know I guess maybe reminiscent of it and we kind of took the Ramblers name from them. So. This is Lindsey Young from the Red Stick Ramblers here on the dusty streets of the Wild West at the Thirsty Ear Festival coming to you from the J.W. Eves Movie Ranch in Santa Fe. This is Southwest Stages y'all. Now we're going to do a song now written by our mandolin player, Mr. Josh Caffrey, an original Red Stick Rambler tune called The Main Street Blues. Looks like we're sitting right on Main Street, huh?
The butcher and the baker and the undertaker The butler and the barber too The boy without a liver and the Indian giver They've all got the Main Street blues The lovers and the lawyer and the self-employer We're in the foyer sniffing glue Discussing with a Russian who was munching on a muffin All about the Main Street Blues And it's old Lord and me And old Lord and mine This little town Keeps busting on by The tailor and the teller and the snowball seller the preacher in his prison shoes They're all trying to figure How to get rid of those awful Main Street out on Johnson's Bayou She swears she'll have it made if she can manage to evade those melancholy Main Street blues The mediocre actor left his pawpaw's tracker to ride a bike down Sunset Avenue The hacker and the slacker and the lazy linebacker They've all got the Main Street blues And it's old Lord and me This little town keeps busting on by. The promoter's got an odor like a day old floater and a pencil with a pad of blue. He's scribbling down ways to emancipate the days from those awful Main Street blues.
her mate has got a shade on sweet Georgia Brown. Two left feet, but oh, so neat and sweet Georgia Brown. They all sign and want to die for sweet Georgia Brown. I'm telling you why. Oh, you know I don't lie. Well, some folks say she knocks a dead when she lands in town. Since she came, why, it's a shame now she pulled them down. Fellas, if she can get them, must be fellas she ain't met. The Georgia need them, Georgia claim it. Sweet Georgia Brown, pick it up. Georgia Brown, old jazz tune for you. How y'all doing out there? We're having a good time. We're having a good time. This is one we learned from Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys called Chinatown. that no Hi, you're listening to Southwest Stages. I'm Glenn Fields of the Red Stick Ramblers, and I'm here at the J.W. Eves Movie Ranch in Santa Fe at the fifth annual Thirsty Ear Music Festival. Hey. Check it out in the bank over there. Don't rob the bank. It's a song called The Flames of Hell.
cogné à la peau Qui sait qui est là C'est ton neveu Passe que tu veux C'est mon canon Passe que tu veux Je suis venu tout tuer tes temps Save my soul from the flames of hell. Thank y'all so much. There's plenty of room to dance up here. Y'all come kick up some dust. The Red Stick Ramblers captured live on stage at the 2003 Thirsty Ear Festival in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I'm your host, John Strader, and this is Southwest Stages. On the second half of the program, we'll have more music and interviews with the Red Stick Ramblers. So stay tuned. We'll be right back after this short break. Southwest Stages Radio travels the Southwest to bring you great live music recorded at venues, concerts, and festivals. A list of artists recorded by Southwest Stages is online at southweststages.org. Southwest Stages would like to thank our broadcast partners, KENW 89.5 FM in Portales, New Mexico, KBUT 90.3 FM in Crested Butte, Colorado, and KXCI 91.3 FM in Tucson, Arizona. Sup, y'all? We're the Red, Red Stick, Stick Ramblers. Ramblers. We're chilling, cold, chilling like a villain on penicillin at the fifth annual Thirsty, Thirsty Ear, Ear Festival Ear. here at the... Where we at, y'all? J.W. Eves Movie Ranch in Santa Fe. Southwest Stages Radio, y'all. Well, so how long have you guys been together and how many CDs you have? Tell me about that. Yeah. Well, we've been together for three, what, three or four years. 
Almost four. Almost four years, and we released our first CD in the summer of 2001. Mm -hmm. And we have our new CD coming out September 23rd on Memphis International Records. And where can they find that? You guys have a website they can go to? www.redstickramblers.com. Oh, that's easy. Come on. So they got their their first album. Check out the site. We got a new site up. It's looking great. Props to our girl Jillian for hooking that up for us. What up, Jay? Now you uh, have an advanced copy of that CD for me right now, I hope, in your pocket we right don't, now. We haven't even oh. seen it yet. So, so the music tonight is the advanced copy. Is stuff that you played tonight off the new CD? Yeah, some of it. Some mm-hmm. of it's off the old CD. And is, is it a lot of original compositions you guys do, mostly original stuff, or do I you do some old school stuff? we have five original tunes on this one, maybe four. Uh-huh. First record only had one, but uh, we've been you know writing over the past couple years and kind of... Now, here at the J.W. Eves Movie Ranch, I mean, it's like being transported back to the 1800s, the dusty old streets of the Wild West here. And, I mean, we're in the Hall of Fame here, surrounded by movie stars that have made movies and westerns oh, here. yeah, man. I'm looking guys, at John Wayne right now. Yeah, exactly. Right, I mean, Pilgrim. tell me about uh, some of your, uh, any, any western stories or favorite westerns you like or anything like that. They possibly were even filmed out here. I like Silverado. I found out Silverado was filmed out here, and I was yeah. pretty pumped up about that because that's one of my favorite uh, yeah, westerns. There's a picture around here somewhere. He's, he, he wants the picture of the one of the women on the wall that's been out here. I think there's a Silverado photo right around here somewhere but uh well i'm john strader this is southwest stages we are coming to you from the fifth annual thirsty ear music festival jw eves movie ranch we're saying good night here to the red stick ramblers thank hey, you hey. thank you guys for coming on thank you there's plenty of room to dance up here y'all come kick up some dust here's another cajun tune some people call it the cajun national anthem my shadow jolie blonde Quatre jolies blondes, belle vase de la Louisiane. Merci, mes amis. Now here comes another song from uh, Louisiana's neighbor to the west. We don't text sauce. It's, uh, this one's called Take Me Back to Tulsa. We got it from Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys. It's also on our CD, which is for sale in the bank. Check it out. Take Me Back to Tulsa. Well, 
little bee sucks the blossom, but the big bee gets the honey. Homies on the corner, but the white man's got the money. Just take me back to Tulsa. I'm too young to marry. Just take me back to Tulsa. I'm too oh, young to marry. On. I sat out there on the back porch and got higher than a redwood tree. Just take me back to Tulsa, I'm too young to marry. Just take me back to Tulsa, I'm too young to marry. Just take me back to Tulsa, I'm too young to marry. Just take me back to Tulsa, I'm too young to with me. I'll take me back to Tulsa. Thank you. Thank y'all so much. All right. We're the Red Stick Ramblers. We're here at the fifth annual Thirsty Ear Festival on the J.W. Hey! Eves Movie Ranch in Santa Fe. Hey! Southwest Stages Radio. Now we're going to do one that was written by Mr. Merle Travis and uh, made famous by Tennessee Ernie Ford called 16 Tons. Some people say a man is made out of mud A poor man's made out of muscle and blood Muscle and blood and skin and bone Got a mind that's weak and a back that's strong You load 16 tons and what are you getting? Yeah, another day older and deeper in debt St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company store. up my shovel and I walked to the mine and I loaded 16 tons of number nine coal and a stove ball said well bless my soul you load 16 tons and what are you get yeah another day older and deeper in debt St. Peter don't you call me cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company store A 
All the way from Memphis, Tennessee, for your listening pleasure, Mr. Chaz Justice on the electrified guitar. If you see me coming, better step aside. A lot of men didn't. A lot of men died, I've got one fist of iron and the other of steel. And if the right one don't get you, then my brass knuckles will. You load 16 tons, and what do you get? Yeah, another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. All right, this, we're gonna do this one for uh, the man who wanted to hear some Django Reinhardt. Here's one we learned from Django and uh, Stefan Grappelli in the Hot Club de France called Nagasaki. Folks, but that ain't snack. Back in Nagasaki, where the brothers shoot it back, and the women will get wacky. They gotta wait, I entertain. Now, but hurry, hurry, a hurricane. Back in Nagasaki, where the brothers shoot it back, and the women will get wacky. Fujiyama, I got your mama, and then the troubles increase. Semicola and the soda, the air sick, no sick, ten cents piece. They hug you and kiss each night, and boy, and Jabba, it's worth the price. Back in Nagasaki, where the brothers shoot it back, and the women will get wacky. But that is not back in Nagasaki where the bros shoot it back in the wind book at Wacky. They gotta wait, I entertain, that would hurry, hurry, a hurricane. Back in Nagasaki where the bros shoot it back in the wind book at Wacky. Fujiyama, I got your mama, then troubles increase. Send a cola and a soda, chicken milk, chicken, 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 chicken,
peux cogner, mais tu peux pas rentrer. Tu peux cogner, mais tu peux pas rentrer. J'ai la clé de la porte de l'avant. Tu peux cogner, mais tu peux pas rentrer. J'ai la clé de la porte de côté. Tu peux cogner, mais tu peux pas entrer. Tu peux cogner, mais tu peux pas entrer. Tu peux cogner, mais tu peux pas entrer. J'ai la clé de la porte en arrière. Tu peux cogner, mais tu peux pas entrer. They told us we didn't have time, but I guess we do. Y'all want to hear another song? Let's do it. Hey, Eric, what else do you know? <laughs> no, let's not do that. All right, here's another tune that comes all the way from South Louisiana. The two-step de condamné, the condemned person's two-step. Hey, Y'all got to dance, though, since we're going to play you another one. Check out our web website, redstickramblers.com. New CD, September 23rd. Y'all have a good one. Oh, yeah, y'all. It's well, it's well. All right, I think we got time for one nice long tune. 
Another original written by uh, guitar, our guitar player, Mr. Chaz Justice, for his guitar, the Roy Smeck Recording King. This is called the Smeckled Suite. Thank you, folks. Y'all have a good day at the festival. Well, that's all the time we have on this edition of Southwest Stages. You've been listening to the Red Stick Ramblers captured live at the 2003 Thirsty Air Festival at the J.W. Eves Movie Ranch in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I'd like to thank the Red Stick Ramblers for spending their time with us and allowing Southwest Stages to record their performance for this broadcast. I'd also like to take this time to thank some of the people who made this show possible. Thanks go out to Mike Coster, the staff, and the volunteers of the Thirsty Air Festival. Miguel Castillo and Miggs Pro Systems, Rob Leidick and Bates Motor Home Rental of Albuquerque, the staff of the J.W. Eves Movie Ranch, and everyone who came out to support this festival. Southwest Stages would not be possible without the hard work and dedication of our volunteer staff. I'd like to take this time to thank the Southwest Stages crew. Engineer and Technical Director Chip Borton, Engineer and Operations Manager Nola Daves Moses, Engineers and Production, Axel Corral and Brandon Kennedy. Audiovisual Specialist, Jim Flynn. And Logistical Support, provided by Will Moses. The engineer for this show was Chip Borton. Special thanks go out to Daphne Strader for all of her love and support. For a schedule of upcoming shows, broadcast times, member stations, or more information, please check out our website at southweststages.org. If you like what you're hearing on Southwest Stages, please visit our website's forum at southweststages.org and vote for your favorite show. The shows with the most votes will be played again later in the season. For questions and comments, send email to strader at southweststages.org. That's S-T-R-A-D-E-R at southweststages.org. 
I'm John Strader, the producer and host of Southwest Stages. Thank you so much for listening. Tune in next week as we hit the road in search of more great live music around the Southwest right here on Southwest Stages. Southwest Stages program support provided by Bates Motorhome Rental of Albuquerque, providing RV products and motorhome rental. More information at 505-610-1264. And by Resort Quest in Telluride, Colorado. Resort Quest Vacation Rentals provides vacation home and condominium rentals in premier beach, mountain, and desert resorts across North America. More information at resortquest.com or 888-683-9836. Next time on Southwest Stages, we'll feature an incredible gospel group captured live at the historic Lenzik Theater in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Tune in for an evening with Grammy Award winners, the Blind Boys of Alabama. <laughs> <laughs>